As we celebrate Water Week under the theme, Be the Change, the CWS is enthusiastic about forging meaningful partnerships with all stakeholders in the water and waste sectors as we strive to evolve in a manner that effectively meets the challenges of a rapidly changing world. A regional strategic action plan has been developed and is being implemented with support from the Inter-American Development Bank, the Caribbean Development Bank, and the Caribbean Water and Wastewater Association. This plan proposes a framework of actions at the regional and national levels to adequately address the myriad of common challenges facing the water and waste sectors in Caribbean countries regarding building resilience to climate change. These challenges include uncertain funding, non-revenue water, limited capacity, and knowledge management. The CWSA continues to fulfill one of the objectives of the National Economic and Social Development Plan, which is to ensure the delivery of an adequate, safe, reliable, and sustainable water supply to every citizen at affordable prices. The compounding impacts of COVID-19, the eruption of La Frere, and recent inflation have slowed progress on some of our plans, but have also presented an opportunity to explore new and more resilient ways to serve our people. For example, with funding from the World Bank under the Volcanic Eruption Emergency Project, the CWS is in the process of developing the first permanent groundwater source in our network at Overland. This source will meet a demand of approximately 180,000 gallons per day to serve some 3,500 persons and businesses in communities from Overland to Owea. Additionally, to keep costs affordable, the project includes a component of solar energy generation to power the pumps needed to lift water from the well to a storage tank. The CWSA considers itself a learning organization where we reflect on and learn from our successes and failures. We value the input of all our staff, customers, and other stakeholders in making decisions. We also try to keep pace with technological developments as we continue to upgrade and expand our digital platforms and data collection systems. It is important to mention that we are now beginning to feel the impacts of the dry season with a reduction in water quantity. Water rationing has already started in some areas, especially those that are fed from the Montreal system. We are asking our customers, therefore, to use water conservatively and to pay special attention to leaks and faulty fixtures. Please follow the CWSA's Facebook page and website and local news agencies for updated information as we go through this dry period. Finally, we humbly acknowledge that despite our best efforts, without the help of God, our plans will fall woefully short of achieving our goals. So, as we celebrate Water Week 2023, we raise an Ebenezer, recognizing that God has helped us thus far, and that it is by His grace, mercy, and favor that we will be guided successfully into the future.